Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, State Farm, and WeatherTech. 97% of people say it's a problem. Yet 7 in 10 drivers admit to doing it. And the CDC estimates that each day, around 9 people are killed and 1,000 injured in crashes that involve distracted driving. Numbers like that don't faze you? Maybe Ben Lieberman's story will. Yeah, I got that call that every parent dreads. You know, I got that call that there was a car crash uh, and my son was involved. In 2011, Ben's 19-year-old son, Evan, was in the back seat of a car when it was hit head on. Evan ultimately died from his injuries. The first night, the doctor said he had a 10% chance to make it through the night. Um, so he made it through that night and 30 others. And it was a really up and down battle, but eventually he lost him right in front of our eyes. While the driver of the vehicle Evan was in said he fell asleep, Ben began to question that. We started asking questions about what was going on and, and what they did at the investigation and, and, and that, and we realized there was just, there's just no protocol in place. Through a civil lawsuit, Ben was able to get a hold of the driver's cell phone records, which revealed the driver was texting around the time of the accident. The crash happened in June. I think I got them in February. It was six agonizing months uh, for me to get those phone records. 47 states have banned texting and driving, but without a confession or eyewitness, it's a crime that's hard to prove. There was no deterrence in place for this to happen to my other children, to my friends' children. Uh, so knowing that, there was a degree of frustration. Driven by his grief and frustration, Ben approached Jim Grady, the CEO of the digital intelligence company Celebrite. And he told us about uh, the, the challenges of getting the data after an accident uh, from a phone and whether the, the other person was texting. And we thought, hey, we can do something with that. We can probably help. The device they came up with is called a textalizer. When connected to a phone, it can pick up whether there have been any taps or swipes. Opponents of the device have already cited privacy concerns. But Celebrite says no personal information, like who you texted or what you said, would be obtained. In order to properly test out the Textalizer, I am going to be texting and driving, but we've blocked off this parking lot so we can do it safely. I'm going to open up some stuff like WhatsApp and also maybe check a, a Facebook message on Facebook Messenger and getting a text message over here. Uh, there's a lot going on and I can barely concentrate on driving. Okay, so I've been in an accident. Officers arrive on the scene. What happens next? The officer would ask you to unlock your phone, and he would hand you this cable, and you connect this cable to your phone. So you never even have to hand your phone over to the officer? No. It takes about 30 seconds, and then we can see the results. I see here you opened WhatsApp, you did a Facebook Messenger, and, and a regular uh, text message. And so you can see all that on your phone, but it doesn't say what I've said in Facebook Messenger or anything like that? Nothing like that ever comes into this device. Perfect. The Textalizer is still just a prototype and some time away from actually being in a police cruiser, but the device is gaining traction. Legislation was introduced in New York, and the governor there has ordered a study into the technology. Other states like Tennessee, New Jersey, and California have all expressed interest as well. For Ben Lieberman, these are all signs of progress and hopefully a change in thought on the dangers of distracted driving. He says he never set out to be an advocate, but for his son Evan, it's a role he now has to play. I think you'd be happy to see something good come out of it. You'd probably be a little embarrassed about the attention, but if you would have said like uh, to me about being an advocate, I would say I'm not the guy, you know, but you see some things that are, uh, that are so wrong, you know, it's hard to turn your back on it.